Well, hello there. It is 6 a.m. Friday, November 30th. Hard to believe it's November 30th already. Tomorrow's the start of December. It's it's flown by, but hey, happy Friday. We get to enjoy the happy weekend, Friday. which is almost here. But what we do not get to enjoy are those nice chilly yeah, temperatures. Yeah, they're going down. But <laughs> on a lighter note, it is the end of hurricane season, so that there, is yes. perfect. It's great. <laughs> it is. It's perfect. Perfect day. We're starting off nice out there. I just feel sad. Can my mom is gone. Now at 6 o'clock, a young girl too emotional to speak days after her mother's murder as police hunt for the killer. That girl was also shot in the hail of bullets. And this morning, she, her siblings, and their grandmother are pleading for anyone with information to come forward. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at Miami Dade Police Headquarters in Doral with that story. New this morning, Miami Dade Police need your help to find an 80 year old man. Take a look at your screen right now. This is Shalmer Bortz Sr. He is diagnosed with a form of dementia known as sundowning. Bortz was last seen on Wednesday morning driving a white 2012 to Toyota Tundra pickup truck after leaving his home on 167th Avenue and Southwest 277th Street. He has not contacted any family or friends and he may need help. So if you've seen him, please call police. Now to the Trump presidency this morning and the Russia probe. This is President Trump a short time ago alongside the president of Argentina. President Trump is in Argentina for the G20 summit, but the special counsel's investigation is looming large. The president's longtime attorney and so-called fixer pleaded guilty on Thursday to lying to Congress. He admits to lying about the Trump organization's dealings with Russia. And now we're learning about one proposed project that included a massive gift to Russian President Vladimir Putin. On lane, so just be aware of that. Back to you guys. Thank you, Dean. Traffic news continues. We have a CBS 4 News traffic alert and good news for anyone trying to get to Broward County using the turnpike. Tomorrow morning, two new ramps will open, allowing drivers to go from the southbound lanes of the turnpike to the northbound lanes of I-75. There will be one lane for I-75 express drivers and one for regular traffic. The new ramps will open at 7 a.m. It's part of the massive I-75 express lanes project. The homeless camp that has been next to a Broward County library in Fort Lauderdale is now gone. City Council officials say they have successfully moved all of the residents to temporary or permanent housing. People who lived there and leaders who worked to make this happen hope this time the solution sticks with adequate funding for housing. It is now 615, a pay less prank, what the company did to prove a point. Plus, you can call it girl power when little girl's a letter about shoes sparking action and reaction from one of the biggest names in basketball. You're here next. In All right, Dean, thanks. It's just about 623 now, and here are the hot topics trending this morning on social media. So this morning, a little girl from Northern California is making headlines. And it's all because of the shoes that she wasn't wearing. Because Riley Morrison is a huge Steph Curry fan, she asked for a pair of Under Armour Curry 5s for Christmas, but the company's website actually doesn't carry them for girls. So she decided to take action. Riley wrote a letter to Steph Curry himself. I hope you can work with Under Armour to change this because girls want to rock the Curry 5s too. Sincerely, Riley Morrison. And guess what? Yesterday she got a handwritten response from Steph saying that small sizes had been labeled boys, but he was going to correct it. He offered her a pair of Curry Fives and to be first in line for the sixes and invited Riley to join him in Oakland for a special celebration on International Women's Day in March. By the way, if you go to the Under Armour website now and click on girls, there is an assortment of Curry Fives to choose from. Way to go, Riley. That is so awesome. And you know what I love so personal? That handwritten note mm -hmm. from Riley to Steph and Steph to Riley. And I'm so nice. glad he responded to you. Very that was really personal. great. That was awesome. Okay, so why pay less when you can pay more? Well, hmm. Payless Shoe Stores wants to prove there are people out there that will think just because, uh, that think a product is great just because it's more expensive. Watch. We'll so they opened up a fake luxury shoe store and called it Palesi. They invited <laughs> so-called influencers to check out their high-end shoes and pay hundreds of dollars Four shoes that normally sell for just 40 bucks. Again, to be clear, this was all shot and organized by Payless, but they say these are real people they invited who are supposedly influencers online. I'm there curious to know what they thought, if they really thought they were expensive. Right? Well, don't believe everything you see. And we're mm -hmm. posting cool photos and videos all day long on our CBS Miami Facebook page. Well, CBS This Morning is coming up at 7 right here on CBS 4. Bianca Rodriguez joins us live from the CBS This Morning studios in New York. Bianca, good morning. Hey, Maribel and Carly. Happy Friday to you. This.
is CBS 4 News This Morning. Right now at 6.30, a desperate plea from the family of a murdered pregnant mother. They are begging for someone to step up and help in the hunt for the killer. President Donald Trump is in Argentina for the G20 summit, but some of his attention is undoubtedly stateside as his former attorney pleads guilty. What the president had to say overnight. We've got a live look outside on this Friday morning. The cold snap is over. So what can we expect for the weekend? Meteorologist Jennifer Correa is here with your full forecast. Happy Good morning, Friday. everyone. Yeah, happy Friday. It's the weekend. Yeah. So we nothing can spoil the weekend, right? <laughs> right or right. Friday. Nope. For that matter. Okay. But I can't believe it's also the last day of November. Unbelievable. No. Unbelievable. December but, underway. Uh, <laughs> yes, I know. It's happening way too fast. But another good thing is that today's the last day of hurricane That's season. Good. You're probably yes. breathing a sigh of yeah. relief this morning, <laughs> yes, Jennifer. Yes, I think a lot of us are. Yeah. It was an active season indeed. A plea for help from a South Florida family after a mother is shot and killed. The gunfire erupting Monday night in Opelaka. The woman's daughter was also wounded in that shooting, and now the family is desperate to find the killer. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is live at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters with more. Amber. Now we have a CBS 4 News safety alert. Following the arrest of two people, police say were performing dentistry in a bus. Neither of them are licensed. CBS 4's Peter Dench has more on what investigators say you need to know. Former South Florida Congressman Carlos Corbello is considering a 2020 Miami-Dade mayoral bid. Corbello told our news partners at the Miami Herald that he has a passion for public office and is not, quote, discarding any possibility right now. It could be a crowded field in 2020 with at least seven other contenders, including Alex Benelas, who is considering another run for mayor, Commission Chairman Esteban Bovo, Daniela Levine Cava, Xavier Suarez, outgoing Lieutenant Governor Carlos Lopez Cantera may also throw his hat into the race, and another possible candidate is Miami-Dade public school superintendent Alberto Carvalho and rapper Luther Campbell. It is now 639 straight ahead dramatic new video of what some faced as they tried to escape those deadly California wildfires. Also new video of the Colorado man who killed his wife and two daughters. See the moment he confessed to the murderers plus new video taken at his home. Plus emotional moments for an army veteran and his family find out what brought him to tears on this day to remember. We have new video this morning. The moment police say a Colorado man confessed to killing his wife and two young daughters. The chilling moment was caught on tape by the Weld County District Attorney's Office. Christopher Watts can be heard admitting to murdering his pregnant wife. She heard him. Prosecutors released tapes of the conversation recorded before the bodies were found. Watts claimed his wife, Shannon, killed the little girls. We are also getting a look at video obtained by our sister station in Denver that shows Watts walking to and from his pickup truck outside of his home after the murders. Prosecutors say Watts used the truck to move the bodies. Watts pleaded guilty earlier in the month to numerous charges, including first-degree murder. He was sentenced to five life sentences without the possibility of parole. In over to New Jersey now, a man has been charged with killing his brother and the brother's wife and their two young children. Police say he then set the house on fire. Investigators say Paul Canero shot his brother and sister-in-law and stabbed the children. He is also accused of setting his own house on fire to make police think the whole family was being targeted. The motive is described as a financial one. Now we have a story that is sure to bring a smile to your face. We need that on a Friday morning. A retired U.S. Army Staff Sergeant and his family now have a new home just in time for the holidays. This is all thanks to Wells Fargo and the Military Warrior Support Foundation. CBS 4's photojournalist Peter Miranda was there when they got the key to their new digs in Homestead. This is the key to your house. If you see news or weather happening, take a picture and send it to us. Our email is cbs 4 pics at cbs.com. You may just see your pictures on TV. Stay with us. The plea for help from a South Florida family after a mother is shot and killed. The shooting happened Monday night in Opelaka. Police say Quantia Curry Golden was sitting in her car with her daughter when someone opened fire. Golden's daughter was shot, but she is doing okay. Family members do not have a motive for this shooting, so anyone who has information should call police. Half a dozen people are in the hospital after a violent two-car crash. It happened last night at Northwest 22nd Avenue and 90th Street. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue tells us three people were trapped in one of the cars. A total of six people were rushed to Jackson Memorial Hospital. No word 
All would lead to the crash or the conditions of the victims. And Miami-Dade police need your help this morning finding an 80-year-old missing man. This is Chalmer Bort Sr. He is diagnosed with a form of dementia known as sundowning. He was last seen on Wednesday morning driving a white 2012 Toyota Tundra pickup truck after leaving his home on Southwest 277th Street. If you've seen him, call police. And President Donald Trump is in Buenos Aires this morning for the G20 summit. President Trump started the day meeting with the president of Argentina. The president will have to balance meeting with world leaders in South America while dealing with the fallout of the surprise guilty plea from Michael Cohen, the president's former personal attorney. Now we have a lot of those colder temperatures gone, but still a refreshing start yeah. this morning, Jennifer. It is a refreshing start in the 60s right now, but check out this beautiful sunrise live view oh. on the Broward oh. camera. Oh my goodness. Picture perfect. Same. Yeah, maybe, maybe a light sweater. Yeah. But I have my fine. sweater dress on this morning. I feel good yes. to go. Short mm -hmm. sleeves this South Florida cold snap just two days. <laughs> exactly. Okay, we like it. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining <laughs> us and have, of course, a great and safe weekend. Happy Friday. CBS This Morning Saturday is coming up at 7 right here on CBS 4. Anthony Mason and Dana Jacobson join us live from the CBS This Morning studio in New York City. What are you all working on for today's show? Good morning, Carly. Coming up, we'll have all this morning's headlines and we'll pay tribute to the late former president, George H.W. Bush. Plus, in other news, it is one of the biggest challenges new parents face, getting their baby to sleep. Now some are actually willing to pay thousands for a personal sleep coach. It's just ahead on CBS This Morning, Saturday. Thank you, Anthony and Dana. I think I might need a personal sleep coach. I'll look into that. Remember, CBS This Morning Saturday kicks <laughs> off at 7, do. right? Believe me, we know. Especially yeah. as AM newsers, right? It kicks off right here on CBS 4 and still ahead on CBS 4 this Saturday morning. Two women in Kendall say a police officer tried to stop them, but a big problem, he's no cop and he's still out there. The warning from the real police straight ahead.